Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today we are back at the Piston Club for another Adam C night. Now we're running a bit late. Adam C's beat us for the first time, we're usually here before him. We've just been to Catherine's Machine to check out the Pinaferina Batista. If you haven't already seen that video, go check it out. It should be live by the time this video goes live. But we've just seen Adam C roll in, so let's go take a look what car he's brought today. So I already know what car he's brought today, but I'm going to keep it a secret for you guys and keep you waiting just a few more seconds longer there is a blue car over there, but that is not the car. The car, in fact, that he has brought is just behind that. The Dodge Viper, his brand new Dodge Viper that he's had for a few weeks. Let's go check it out. So it's definitely one very hot Viper. The fans will go around in a cycle, it cuts in and out. But the Viper GTS with the Viper brake calipers as we come around the back. We've got the twin exit exhausts shooting some crazy flames judging by the soot on the back of this car and of course a very neat feature is the snake the viper on the back it's actually a brake light three two one and drop We've got some classics joining us today in the shape of the Triumphs. We also have the Nissan Micra, and just over here we've got another classic in the form of an MG Midget. We have the Monaro rolling in with the blue Jag behind and I can just see a Chevy pickup on the main road over there.
has some R35 goodness. We have a very pink MX-5, or if you're American, you'd call it a Miata. Classics appear to be lining up, ready to head off. You can see the sun is beaming down on us this evening for Adam C nights. We've got Adam C's Viper there, we've got Claire's TT, and then we've got Sonny's Mark 7 Golf. But yeah, not a bad turnout. Some classics mixed in with some moderns, more modern cars over here, and more of the classics over on this side. I do like the stance on this Subaru as well. And we've even got a Colin McRae sticker on the bonnet. the 650 and the 570 McLaren over there just behind the Chevy pickup from fully stripped out cars to Porsche alloys on a Golf so most of the people are heading off for the evening we've had a few cars leave and a few cars turn up but we'll be heading off shortly I'm sure we'll be staying here for the full duration we may be heading back to Caffeine and Machine to see the Batista get loaded into the trailer I'm not entirely sure at the moment we might stay we might go but 
more to come. And somewhere along the badness, another Holden has arrived. So we're back at CNN. As you can see, we're with Stratus. We've got the 599 over there. We've got some British and German cars in a good treat, which we're going to take a look at shortly. The main car we've come back for is the Batista, just over there. So we are chasing the Batista to watch it be loaded into a truck and then it's going down to a Euro tunnel and it'll be on its way back to Italy. Despite it being fully electric, it does have a nice tone to it. And inside the trailer we've got the Pininfarina chest of toys, which will be extra wheels, toolkits and whatnot. But yeah, this is on its way back down to the Eurotunnel and it'll make its way back to Italy. The only one here in the UK at the moment, and that is about to change because there's going to be none because it's going back to Italy. So this right here reminds me very much of Back to the Future when they're unloading the DeLorean in the Twin Pines parking lot and they're about to do some crazy stuff at 88 miles an hour. And there she goes, ladies and gentlemen, on her final voyage back to Italy. <laughs> 